Ooh, we're, we're live, I think. Hello? Oh, good job, Monsa. Fosse the other one. I guess the Aces. You don't have to. In the wrath, anger, and God has set our iniquities before thee. Our lips and his they were, and if we And mildness has come upon the chastened, who knoweth the might of God, who can recount all that in the heart and treated concern. We were filled in the morning with thy mercy, O Lord, and we're glad. And look upon thy do thou guide their sons. And let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon 
O Lord, I will, not, I will chant and have understanding to whom I wish. A blameless path. When I woke, thou came unto me in the innocence of my heart. I have the wonderful things before mine, mine eyes, the works of transgressions I have hated. I crook, crooked heart hath not cleared unto me. As for the wicked man who turned me from, I knew him not. Him the against his neighbor did I drive away from me. With him whose eyes was proud and his heart instant, I did not eat. Mine eyes were upon the faithful of the land, that they might sit with me. The man that walked in the blameless path, he ministered unto me. The proud doer dwelt not in the minds, the midst of my house. The speaker of unjust things, supposed not be, not before my eyes. In the morning, I slew all the sinners of the land. Utterly to destroy out of the city of the Lord all them that work iniquities. Glory both, Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and be its face to men. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. And now and ever and be its face to men. To thee is the praise of God in Zion, and unto thee shall thou be rent in Jerusalem. Hearken unto my prayer, for unto thee shall all flesh come. The words of lawless men who have empowered us, but to our ungodliness shalt thou be merciful. Blessed is he who thou hast chosen and taken to thyself, he shall dwell in thy courts. He shall be filled with the good things of thy house, holy is thy temple, wonderful in righteousness. Hearken unto us, O God, our Savior, the hope of all the ends of the earth, and of them that be far off at the sea. Who set us fast the mountains by thy strength, who are created round about with power? Who shall bless the hall of the sea, as for the world its waves, who shall withstand them? The heathen shall be troubled, and the dwellers in the farthest region shall be afraid of thy signs. Thou shalt make the outgoings of the morning and evening to delight. Thou hast visited the earth in the abundance of the water to her, thou hast multiplied the meat of the rich in her. The river of God is filled with waters, thou hast prepared their food for us, the preparation of them. Thou make her furrows drunk with water, multiply her fruits in her, sh in her showers, which is proud when she is brought forth. Thou shalt bless the crown of the year with thy goodness, and thy queen shall be filled with fatness. And rich shall be the mountains of the wilderness, and the hills shall be carried with rejoicing. The rams of the flock have clothed themselves with fleece, and the valleys shall abound with wheat. They shall cry out aloud, ye shall be chanted unto me. Shout of the jubilation to all the earth, chant unto his name, give glory and praise of him. Be sanctified, O awesome are thy works, and the multitude of thy power shall enemies be, be proved false unto thee. Let all the earth worship thee, chant unto thee, thee let them chant unto thy name, O most high. Come and see the works of the Lord, how awesome he is, and his talents is more than the sons of men. He turneth the sea into dry land, and rivers shall be pass through on foot. <clears throat> there shall we rejoice in him, and him that is ruler in his sovereignty through. He shall put on them, let him bitter and be exalted in themselves. O blessed our God, ye nations, and make the voice of his praise to be heard. Who hath established my soul in life, and permitteth not my feet to be shaken. For thou hast proved us, O God, and by fire hast thou tried us, even as silver is tried by fire. Thou hast brought us into the snare, thou hast laid afflictions upon our back, upon our heads. We went through fire and water, and thou didst bring us into refreshment. I will go into thy house and behold burnt offering to thee, Lord, like in my vows, with my lips, which my lips pronounce, and which my mouth has spoken in mine affliction. Full burnt offerings full of marrow will I offer unto thee with incense and rams, oxen and goats will I offer unto thee. Come in here, and I will declare unto you all you that fear the God, what things he hath done for my soul. Unto him with my mouth have I cried, and I exalted him with my tongue. The heart of unrighteousness, let the Lord not hear me. Heaven unto me, he hath been attentive to the voice of my supplication. Blessed is God who hath turned not away my prayer, nor his mercy away from me. Bless and bless us, and cause his face to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. That we may know upon the earth thy way among all the nations thy salvation. It's the God that all the peoples praise thee. Rejoice, for thou shalt judge peoples of the brightness, and the nations shall put guide upon the earth. We praise the God that all the peoples praise thee. The earth hath yielded her fruit. Let God our God bless us, let God bless us, and let all the ends of the earth fear. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered, and let them that hate him flee from before his face. As smoke vanishes, so let them vanish away as a wax melted. 
for the sinners perish with the presence of God, let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice in the presence of God, let them delight in gladness. Sin unto God, chant unto his name, prepare the way for him that rides up on the sending of the sun. The Lord is his name, ye rejoice before him, let them be troubled at his presence, who is the father of orphans and a judge to widows. God is in his holy place, God sitteth the solitary in the house. He might have leading forth them that were shackled, and likewise them that have bitter him, them that dwell in tombs. O God, when thou wentest forth before thy people, when thou didst traverse the wilderness, the earth was shaken, and the heavens dropped through the presence of the God of Sinai, the presence of the God of Israel. Thou art O God, for thy inheritance. He hath became weak, but thou shalt restore it. Thy living creatures shall dwell therein, thou hast prepared it in thy goodness for the poor man, O God. The Lord shall give speech with great power to them that bring good tidings. He that is the king of the host of his beloved one shall divide the spoils for the beauty of the house. Even if ye sleep among the lots, ye shall have the wings of a dove covered with silver, and her pinions of sparkling gold. And he that is in the heavens ordaineth kings over her, they shall be made snow white and sown. The mountain of God is a butter mountain, a curled mountain. For I suppose yet there be other curled mountains. This is the mountain wherein God is pleased to dwell, yea, the Lord will dwell therein to the end. The chariot host of God is ten thousand fold, yea, thousands of them that abound in number. The Lord is among them at Sinai in his holy place. Thou hast ascended on high, thou let us captivity captive. Thou didst receive gifts among men, yea, for they were disobedient, that thou mayest dwell there. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. The pathways leading forth from death are those of the Lord's glory. But God shall crush the heads of his enemies, the hairy crown of them that continue in their trespasses. The Lord said, I will return from Basel, and I will return the beasts of the sea. That thy foot may be dipped in blood, yea, the tongue of thy dogs and that of thine enemies. Thy processionals have been seen, O God, the processionals of my God and my King who is in his sanctuary. Praises went before and after them, the chanters in the midst of timbrel playing maidens. The congregations bless thee, God, Lord, from the wellsprings of Israel. Yonder is Benjamin, the younger, and Rapture, the princes of Judah, the rulers, the princes of Zabdon, the princes of Naphtali. Give thou command, O God, unto thy host, strengthen, O God, that which thou hast wrought in us. Because of thy temple in Jerusalem, the king shall bring gifts unto thee. Rebuke the wild beasts of the reed, that congregation of bulls among the heifers of the peoples, lest they exclude them that have been proved like silver. Scatter the nations that desire wars, and ambassadors shall come out of Egypt. Ethiopia shall hasten to stretch out her hand unto God. Ye kingdoms of the earth, sing unto God, champion unto the Lord, unto him that rideth the heaven of heaven towards the day spring. But we will utter it with his voice, a voice of power. Give ye glory unto God, his magnificence is over Israel, and his power is in the clouds. Wondrous is God in his saints, the God of Israel, he will give power and temper to his people. Blessed is God. Save me, O God, for the waters are coming to my soul. I am stuck fast in the mire of the deep, and there is no sure stand in them. I remember when we were with crying, my throat has become hoarse from my hoping in my God, my eyes have failed me. They that hate me without a cause are multiplied more than the hairs of my head. My enemies are grown stronger that persecute me unjustly, them that I restored that which I took not away. O God, thou knowest my foolishness. My transgressions are not hidden from thee. Let not them that wait on thee be ashamed for my sake, O Lord, thou Lord of hosts. Nor let them that seek after thee be confounded for my sake, O God of Israel. Because for thy sake have I borne reproach, shame hath covered my face. I am become a stranger unto my brethren, and an alien unto the sons of my mother. For the zeal of thy house hath eaten me up, and the reproaches of them that reproach thee are fallen on me. Yea, with fasting I covered my soul, and it was turned into a reproach for me. And I made sackcloth my clothing, and I became a proverb to them. And they created against me, they that sit in the gates, and they made a song about me that they drink wine. That I should my prayer, I cry unto thee, O Lord, it is time for thy good pleasure. O God, in the multitude of thy mercy, hearken unto me in the truth of thy salvation. Save me from the mire, that I be not stuck therein. Let me be delivered from them that hate me from the deeps of the waters. Let not the tempest of water overwhelm me, nor let the deeps swallow me up. Nor let the pit shut its mouth upon me. Hearken unto me, Lord, for thy mercy is good. According to the multitude of thy compassions, look upon me. Away from thy servants, for I am afflicted, quickly hearken unto me. I tempted my soul to the word because of my enemies' rest. I approach my shame and my humiliation. Before thee are all that afflict me, my soul hath awaited reproach and misery. And I waited for them one that would be with me, but there was no one, and for them that would comfort me, but I found none. And they gave me gall for my foot, and for my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let their table before them be for a snare, for a recompense, and for a stumbling block. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see, and their back that thou continually bow down. Brought upon them thy wrath, and let the fury of thy wrath take hold upon them. Let their habitation be made desolate, and their tents let there be none to dwell. They persecuted him whom thou hast smitten, and to the pain of my wounds have they added. Add iniquity to their iniquity, and let them not enter into thy righteousness. 
let them be blotted out of the book of the living, and with the righteous let them not be written. For it in sorrow and mind may thy salvation, O God, be quick to help. I will praise the name of my God with an oath, I will magnify him with praise. And this shall please God more than a young calf that hath born the bruise. Let beggars be holded and be glad, seek after God, and your soul shall live. The Lord hath hearkened unto the poor, and hath not despised them that are fettered for his sake. Let the heavens and the earth praise him, the sea and all the creeping things therein. For God will save Zion, and the cities of Judea shall be builded, and they shall dwell therein and inherit it, and the seed of thy servants shall possess it. They love thy name shall dwell therein. O God, be attentive unto helping the Lord make haste to help me, and shame be none that seek after my soul. And God shame would desire evils against me. Let me turn back straight by shame, and see unto me, well done, well done. Let, me, let them be glad and rejoice in the and seek after thee, O God. Say to me, let the, the Lord be magnified. But as for me, I pour need of God, come unto me, my help, my help and my deliverer, thou would make no long tarry. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, good will to all men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord, heaven and King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. God, the Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, thou that's of the world. Receive our prayer, thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. Thou alone art holy, thou alone art Lord Jesus Christ, the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever with thee, forever and ever. Forever and from generation to generation. I said, O Lord, have mercy on me, and heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For in thee is the fountain of life, and thy light shall we see light. O continue thy mercy unto them that know thee. God save, O Lord, to keep us this night from sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise and glorify us thy name unto the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, according as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, grant me understanding for thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, and I mean by thy statutes. O Lord, thy mercy endure forever, and stain not the works of thy hands. Unto thee is due praise, unto thee is due song, unto thee is glory is due, to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of life, true God of true God, the begotten not created, of one essence of the Father, through whom all things are made, who for us in our salvation, was begotten from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary, and became a man, who was crucified for us and his conscious Pilate. And suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose from his virtues. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. The Lord to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds in the Father, and who together the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, spoke with their prophets. The one the Holy Catholic Mass saw the church. I know from the baptism to the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection and dead. And life to the age to come. Amen. In the morning, hearken unto my voice, O my King and my God. Unto my words, give ear, Lord, hear my cry. In the morning, hearken unto my voice, O my King and my God. For unto thee will I pray, O Lord. In the morning, hearken unto my voice, O my King and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. What shall we call thee, O full of grace, heaven? For thou hast made the Son of righteousness to dawn forth. Paradise, for thou hast brought forth the flower of immortality. Virgin, for thou hast remained corrupt. Pure Mother, for thou hast held in thy holy and gracious Son, who is the God of all. Do thou entreat me to save our souls. My steps do thou direct according to thy saying, and let no iniquity have dominion over me. My steps do thou direct according to thy saying, and let no iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the false accusation of men, and I will keep thy commandments. Deliver me from the false accusation of men, and I will keep thy commandments. 
Make thy face to shine upon thy servant and teach me thy statutes. Make thy face to shine upon, upon thy servant and teach me thy statutes. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, but that I may thank thee thy glory and thy majesty all the day long. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that I may thank thy glory and thy majesty all the day long. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that I may thank thy glory and thy majesty all the day long. O God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal, have mercy on us. Holy and mighty, holy and mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And now and forever, the ages of ages, amen. And they have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your glory. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. The Son of the Holy Spirit. Now and forever into the ages of ages, amen. Lord in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us on to the and deliver us from evil. The prayers of all your fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, for your sins. Amen. Depart and now, let us continually praise the supremely glorious Mother of God, who is holier than the holy angels, as we confess her to be the Theotokos, for she verily gave birth unto God in the flesh, and she interceded continually on behalf of our souls. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Kill is some 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 Thou who art, who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ God, who art long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, righteous, and has mercy on sinners, who calls all to salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayer at this hour and guide our life toward thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with thy holy angels that, guided and guarded by their array, we may attain to the unity of faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. He who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word. Very Theotokos, thee to be magnified. There is an Holy Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God. <coughs> Have mercy on us and save us. Amen. O Lord and Master of my life, take from me the spirit of sloth, faint heartedness, lust of power, and idle talk. But give breath the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to thy servant. Yea, Lord, and King, grant me to see my own sins, and not to judge my brother, but thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Now we cross ourselves to hold hands. God be merciful to me, a sinner. 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 Holy Master, my life taken the spirit of sloth, your harmonies, lest the power of talk, and give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to thy servant. Ye, O Lord, and can grant me to see my own sins and not to judge my brother. Thou art blessed unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and forever in the ages of ages. Amen. All the Holy Trinity have mercy on us. 
Board of Creative Residence, Master Partner Transgressions, Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for the glory of your name. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but the us from evil. Give the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, your Father, mercy on us. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Be light, be just in light and sanctify every man that cometh into the world. Let the light of thy countenance be signed upon us, that in it we may behold the unapproachable light, and guide our steps in the performance of thy commandments. By the intercessions of thine all immaculate mother and all the saints, amen. Amen. Glory to the Father and the Son is the Holy Spirit, both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Give us the Holy Spirit to say whatever is in each one. Let us pray for the peace of the world. Will have mercy for all pious and Orthodox Christians. Will have mercy for all Orthodox bishops, especially Archbishop Demetrius. For the honorable priesthood of the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people. Have mercy for this country, its president, its civil authorities, and its armed forces everywhere. Lord, have mercy for all of our fellow students at this school and everywhere that they may have mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, and forgiveness of their sins. Lord, have mercy for the students of this holy school, that the Lord our God will grant us his grace that we may be diligent and faithful, avoiding all evil company and influence, resisting temptation, that we may lead a godly and righteous life, blameless and peaceful, ever serving thee, and that we may be accounted worthy to enter into the kingdom of heaven. For our brothers and sisters, the Orthodox College students studying everywhere, especially for the members of the Orthodox Christian Fellowships, Alpha Lumen Christian University, Baylor University, Hardin Simmons University, Houston Baptist University, McMurray University, Oklahoma State University, Rice University, Southern Methodist University, Texas A&M University, Texas Tech University, the University of Arkansas, the University of Houston, the University of Mississippi, the University of Oklahoma, the University of Southern Mississippi, the University of St. Thomas in Houston, the University of Texas in Austin, the University of Texas in Dallas, the University of Texas in San Antonio, and the University of Tulsa. They may have mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, and forgiveness of their sins. For those who hate us and those who love us, we have mercy. For those who are kind to us and serve us, we have mercy. For those who have asked us to pray for them, unworthy though we be, especially for Amelia, David, Markela, Quinn, Alexis, Catherine, Nicole, Spiridon, Nicholas, Rachel, Spirit, Vila, Mark, Parascavis, Nora, Juana, Benjamin, Daniel, Isabella, Timothy, Nigel, Catherine, Jesse, and family, Caleb, Mihai, Ziad, Sasha, Daria, Rodney, Angela, Cassandra's family, Christina, the Weston family, Father Theophilus, Katharina, Caden, James, there, Aaron, Katie, Father Patrick, Lucy, Julian, Victoria, Stephen, Marissa, Maggie, Harris, Hazen, Gabriella, Jepsine, Kate, Father Nicholas, and his family, Connor, Arseni, Irene, Michael, Lisi, Athena, Anka, Philip, Gabriel, Annie, Ioannis, Athanasios, Maria, Nicholas, Katina, Thassa, Mikhail, Isa, Barbara, Michael, John, John, Anastasia, Bartadis, Gabriela, Amalia, Vasilis, Constantine, Constantine, Father Theodore, Anastasia, Anastasia, Claire, Matthew, Andrew, Maria, Vanya, Karim, Lula, John, Father Edward, Nico, Maria, Mary, Steve, Dennis, Jennifer, David, Adam, James, 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 Justin, Megan, Katya, Ashley, Robert, Roger, Paul, Anyada, Vivian, Patrick, Vincent, Stephen, Laura, Clay, Webb, Mary, Maria, Alexandra, Stephan, and Anthony, Demetrius, Nicole, Christina, Reza, Andre, Lauren, Nicole, Maria, Eleni, Christina, Father Constitute, Father Duane, Andreas, Sophia, Andrew, Constantina, Stephanie, Nicole, Anastasia, Emmanuel, Evangelos, Evangelia, Demetrius, the Deacon, Alexander, Father Miles, Natalie, Father, Father Anthony, Eva, Stelios, the Bishop Gregory, Dominica, Aniotha, Ted, Constantina, Eleni, Jenny, Annie, Father Robert, the Fredigo family, the Curzon family, the Gannon family, the Mohaiver family, the Steen family, Father Nicholas, Mary, Amelia, Benjamin, Nicholas, Anne, Lenore, the Priest John, Macrina, Thomas, Alexis, Lucy, Peter, Gregory, Juliana, Dan, Erica, Nina, Julian, Anya, Robert, Joseph, Luke, John, Marina, Catherine, Raymond, Zachariah, Jacob, Rachel, Mark, Pope, Joseph, Alexander, John, Elizabeth, Matthew, Karen, Robin, Allie, Catherine, Zach, Carrie, Sarah, Isaac, 
Gabriel Isaac, Geary, Paula, Vera, Nigel, Lexi, Christina, Donna, Dwayne, Tagan, Sharon, Marion, Aaron, Stephen, the Price family, Aiden, Chad, Cassian, Anastasia, Victoria, Brother Josiah, Catherine, Kurt, Rex, Puna, Kayla, Sarah, Rob, Ruby, Max, Troy, Brother Paul, Christina, and her baby, Brother Patrick, Vanessa, Brother James, Linda, Brother Jason, Anna, David, Elaine, Sophia, Susie, Susie, Mitch, Jesse, June, Dan, Family Focus, Catherine, Theodora, Luca, Faye, Methodius, Sarah, Bella, Sadiq, and Matthew, Simeon, Peter, Justinian, Adam, Jacob, Gabriela, Peter, Elizabeth, Porfirios, Brother Mark, Brother David, Father Nicarius, Abbot Trifon, the Sisters of St. John the Four in the Monastery. The release of prisoners. Lord, mercy for those who are traveling by land, by sea, and by air and in space. Lord, mercy for those who lie in sickness. Lord, Lord, mercy. Let us pray also for the abundance of the fruits of the earth. Lord, have mercy. And for the soul of every Orthodox Christian departed this life. Mercy. For our parents and brethren, and for all who have departed this life before us, who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. May their memory be eternal. Let us say also for ourselves. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. The prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen. It's 2 30. O chosen one, worker and pleaser of Christ, who pours forth inexhaustible streams of inspiration and a multitude of miracles upon the whole world, we praise thee with love and call out to thee. Rejoice, O holy hierarch, Father John, speedy helper amidst misfortunes. Was thou manifested in these latter times by the grace of God, who ever careth for men? Seeing the beauty of thy virtues, we cry out to thee, Rejoice thou from earliest childhood, was adorned in piety. Rejoice thou didst ever live in fear of God and do his holy will. Rejoice thou didst manifest the grace of God through good deeds done secretly. Rejoice thou didst hearken to the prayers of those in distress. Rejoice thou didst hasten, full of love, to save thy neighbors. Rejoice joy to all who fall down before thee with faith. Rejoice, O holy hierarch, Father John, speedy helper amid misfortunes. In the abundance and variety of thy virtues, O holy hierarch, we see in thee a living source of God's wonder in our time. God has refreshed with thy love and miracles all who cry in faith to God. Alleluia. Being filled with love and replete with theology, O divinely wise John, made wise by the knowledge of God and adorned with love for the suffering. Teach us also to know the true God and love as we call out to thee in admiration. Rejoice, unshakable stronghold of Orthodox truth. Rejoice, precious vessel of the Holy Spirit. Rejoice, righteous denouncer of impiety and false doctrine. Rejoice, zealous fulfiller of the commandments of God. Rejoice, ascetic who didst not allow thyself to rise upon a bed. Rejoice, beloved shepherd of the flock of Christ. Rejoice, O holy hierarch, Father John, speedy helper of his misfortune. Rejoice, O holy hierarch, Father John, speedy helper of his misfortune. By the power of the grace of God, this thou manifest as a father to orphans and instructor of the young, raising them in the fear of God and preparing them for the service of God. Wherefore, all thy children look to thee with love and in gratitude cry to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thou shouldst truly be praised from the heavens and not from the earth, O Father John. For our words are feeble beside thy deeds. Yet offering to God what we have, we cry out to thee thus. Rejoice thou didst protect thy children by thine unceasing prayer. Rejoice thou didst ever guard thy flock like the sign of the cross. Rejoice thou in, in whose love knew no bounds of country or race. Rejoice, bright luminary, beloved of all. Peace in prayer and loving kindness. Rejoice, bestower of spiritual consolation upon those of need. Rejoice, O holy hierarch, Father John, speedy helper of misfortunes. Rejoice, O holy hierarch, Father John, speedy helper amid misfortunes. Overwhelmed by the tempest of perils, we know not how to praise thee, worthily, O hierarch John. Thou didst travel to the ends of the earth to save thy flock and proclaim the glad tidings of the gospel to those in darkness. 
Giving thanks to God for yet another soul of favors, we cry out to Him, Alleluia. Those near and far have heard the greatness of thy miracles, which are made manifest by the mercy of God even to our days. And so we also marvel and cry out in awe, rejoice and lighten our those in the darkness of unbelief. Rejoice, thou who didst lead thy people from the far east to the west. Rejoice, fountain of miracles poured forth by God. Rejoice, lover, chastiser of those who have gone astray. Rejoice, swift consular of those who repent of their sins. Rejoice, guide of those who walk the straight path. Rejoice, O holy Hiram, Father John, speedy helper amid misfortunes. Rejoice, O holy Hiram, Father John, speedy helper amid misfortunes. Thou was manifest to be a divinely beast of light to stop the destructive forces of fallen nature, O holy hierarch, preserving thy flock on the island of Tubabo from the deadly winds stormed by thy prayer and the sign of the cross. Teach us who call upon thee for help, O holy wonder worker, to cry out in wonder unto God. Alleluia. All who have trusted in thy help in desperate circumstances and adversities have found deliverance, O holy intercessor, before the throne of God. Wherefore, we trust in thine intercessions before God and cry out to thee. Rejoice, thou dost divert the dangers of the elements. Rejoice, thou by thy prayer, deliver us from need. Rejoice and exhaust the giver of bread to the hungry. Rejoice abundant wealth for, those, wealth for those who live in poverty. Rejoice consolation for those in sorrow. Rejoice quick uplifting for those who have fallen. Rejoice, O Father Hierarch, Father John, speedy helper of his misfortunes. Rejoice, O Father Hierarch, Father John, speedy helper of his misfortunes. Preaching salvation through slow of speech, thou wast shown to be like unto Moses, leading thy people out of captivity of the godless. O all blessed John, deliver us also from bondage to sin and the invisible foe, that rejoicingly may cry out to thee. Cry out to God, Alleluia. Alleluia. Shining forth in thy righteousness, thou didst do the impossible and persuade the authorities of this world to have pity on their flock. O good shepherd, wherefore with them we also cry out to thee in thanksgiving. Rejoice, good shepherd, who didst prepare for thy wandering flock a peaceful haven. Rejoice, thou who didst show the greatest care for children and the sick. Rejoice, helper of all who call upon thee with faith. Rejoice, for in thy weak body was the power of God made manifest with abundance. Rejoice, thou who foilest the attacks of the unrighteous. Rejoice, destroyer of lies and exalter of truth. Rejoice, O holy hierarch, Father John, speedy helper amid misfortunes. Rejoice, O holy hierarch, Father John, speedy helper amid misfortunes. Desiring to glorify as his meek the ancient saints of the West of the lands which had fallen away from the truth, that it's revived their veneration in the Orthodox Church, a lover of the saints of the East and the West. With them pray thou today in heaven on behalf of us who chant on earth. Alleluia. 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 We see thee as a new chosen one of God who was manifest in the latter times as one of the holy hierarchs of Gaul, exhorting thy flock to preserve the same Orthodox faith that they confessed. And astonishing the peoples of the West by thy holy life. Preserve us that we too may abide in this faith. We cry out to thee, rejoice thou who wast a new Martin by thy miracles and ascetic feats. Rejoice thou who wast a new Germanus by thy confession of the Orthodox faith. Rejoice thou who wast a new Hilary by thy divine theology. Rejoice thou who wast a new Gregory by thy love and glorification of God's saints. Rejoice thou who wast a new Faustus by thy monastic fervor. Rejoice thou who wast a new Caesarius by thy steadfast love for the canons of the Church of God. Rejoice, O holy hierarch, Father John, speedy help for him in misfortunes. Rejoice, O holy hierarch, Father John, speedy help for him in misfortunes. A strange sight that thou behold in the new world thou didst encounter that form of flock and tribulation. Here wast thou called to suffer persecution. And by thy patience, righteousness, and instruction to guide thy flock, and didst erect the church of the mother of God, the joy of all who sorrow. Now marveling at thy patience and long suffering, we all cry out to God, Alleluia. Alleluia. Giving myself 
holy unto Christ, deliver of Christ's vineyard. Thou knewest no rest, even at the end of thy much suffering life. Help us, the unworthy in our labors, as we strive to be faithful to Christ, crying out in grace to thee. Rejoice, thou who didst endure unto the end, and so didst obtain salvation. Rejoice, thou who was deemed worthy to die before the icon of the mother of God. Rejoice, thou who didst keep the faith and courage in the midst of unjust persecution. Rejoice, thou who didst labor to the end for thy flock, and didst repose seated as a hierarch. Rejoice, thou who didst comfort the flock by being buried among it. Rejoice, thou who workest wonders for those who come to the relics with faith and love. Holy Hierarch, Father John, speedy helper amid misfortune. Rejoice, O Holy Hierarch, Father John, speedy helper amid misfortunes. All the angelic hosts receive, rejoice that thy souls ascend to the mansions of heaven, marveling at the wonders that is performed on earth through the action of the Holy Spirit. To whom we sing, Alleluia, Alleluia. Orators find it impossible to describe thy life of sanctity with their many eloquent words, O righteous Father John. Thou didst become a living dwelling place for the grace of the ineffable God. Yet unable to be silent at the wonder revealed to our age of feeble faith, we glorify thee. Rejoice, divine palace, from whence the counsel of the good king is given. Rejoice, for in thy humble activity thou hast angels serving with thee. Rejoice, thou didst gain a house not made with hands eternal in the heavens. Rejoice, infirmary, wherein every ailment is divinely healed. Rejoice, depository, wherein thy holy labor of prayer was hidden. Rejoice, blessed temple of the Holy Spirit. Rejoice, O Holy Hierarch, Father John, speedy help her amid misfortunes. Rejoice, O Holy Hierarch, Father John, speedy help her amid misfortunes. Desiring to save the world, the Savior of all has sent unto us a new saint, and through him has called us forth from the dark abyss of sin. Hearing this call to repentance, we, the unworthy ones, in turn cry out to God, Alleluia. Alleluia. Thou art a wall sheltering us from adversity, O Father John, for thou, for through thy heavenly intercessions are we delivered from the attacks of demonic passions and from afflictions which beset us on earth. Before thy firm support of prayer, we cry with faith. Rejoice, sight to those who are blind. Rejoice, thou who by the power of prayer givest life to those on their bed of death. Rejoice, thou who with divine wisdom dost enlighten those in confusion and doubt. Rejoice, refreshing water to those perishing in the heat of sorrow. Rejoice, loving Father, to the orphan and abandoned. Rejoice, holy teacher, to those who seek the of those who seek the truth. Rejoice, O holy hierarch, Father John, speedy helper amid misfortune. Rejoice, O holy hierarch, Father John, speedy helper amid misfortunes. In thought, word, and deed, thy life was a hymn to the most holy Trinity, O most blessed John. But with much wisdom didst thou explain the precepts of the true faith, teaching us to sing with faith, hope, and love the one God and Trinity. Alleluia, alleluia. We see thee as a radiant lamp of orthodoxy for those in the darkness of ignorance, O good shepherd of the flock of Christ. Thus, even after thy repose, thou didst reveal the truth to those ignorant thereof, illuminating the souls of the faithful who cry out to thee such things as these. Rejoice thou with divine wisdom, dust and light to those who languish in unbelief. Rejoice, rainbow of quiet joys for the meek. Rejoice, thunder to those obstinate in sin. Rejoice, lightning burning up heresies. Rejoice, downpour of the dogmas of orthodoxy. Rejoice, do of the thought of God. Rejoice, O Holy Hierarch, Father John, speedy help for him in misfortunes. Rejoice, O Holy Hierarch, Father John, speedy help for him in misfortunes. With reverence and thanksgiving do we receive the grace that hath been poured out upon thee by God. O most lauded Father John, glorifying thy wonders of the Holy Hierarch who once walked among us. We cry out to God, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Singing praises unto God, a heavenly choir of saints rejoiceth, rejoiceth, that he has not forsaken the fallen and faithless world, but hath manifested his almighty power in thee, his meek and humble servant. O blessed John, with all the saints, we greet thee and give honor to thee. Rejoice, new star of righteousness, which hath shone forth in heaven. 
Rejoice, you prophet who was sent before the final reign of the evil. Rejoice, thou who, like Jonah, has sworn all of the wages of sin. Rejoice, thou who, like John the Baptist, calleth all to prayer and repentance. Rejoice, thou who, like Paul, endureth much for the sake of the gospel and the preaching of the faith. Rejoice, thou apostle, whose miracles and sin and us faith and all. Rejoice, O holy high rank, Father John, speedy helper amid misfortunes. Rejoice, O holy high rank, Father John, speedy helper of misfortunes. For already the most wondrous God pleased our holy high rank, John, for all who sorrow except, <coughs> except now our prayerful offering through thy prayers to our Lord that we may be delivered from the fires of Gehenna, and by thy God-pleasing intercession, may we chant forever unto God, Alleluia. Mm -hmm. All read in the most wondrous God, please, for holy high record, John, consolation for all the sorrow, except not a prayerful offering through thy prayers to our Lord, from the fires of Gehenna, and by thy God-pleasing intercession, may we chant forever unto God, Alleluia. Alleluia. All read in the most wondrous God, please, for holy high record, John, consolation for all the sorrow, Offering through thy prayers to our Lord, that we may be delivered from the fires of Gehenna. <coughs> Intercessions may we chant forever unto God. Alleluia. Alleluia. An angel in the flesh was thou manifested in these latter times by the grace of God, whoever careth for men. Seeing the beauty of thy virtues, we cry out to thee. Rejoice thou from earliest childhood, was adorned in piety. Rejoice thou who has ever lived in the fear of God and do his holy will. Rejoice thou didst manifest the grace of God through good deeds done secretly. Rejoice thou didst hearken to the prayers of those in distress. Rejoice thou didst hasten full of love to save thy neighbors. Rejoice joy to all who have fallen before thee with faith. Rejoice, O holy high right, Father John, speedy helper amid misfortunes. Rejoice, O holy high right, Father John, speedy helper amid misfortunes. Chosen wonder worker and preacher of Christ, who pours forth inexhaustible streams of inspiration and a multitude of miracles upon the whole world, we praise thee with love and call out to thee. Rejoice, O holy high rank, Father John, speedy misfortunes. Rejoice, O holy high rank, Father John, speedy love for every misfortunes. Let us pray to the Lord. A wondrous hire of John, let it extend thy heart to encompass within it the multitude of people from among the diverse nations and peoples who honor thee. Look down at the humility of our words, which we offer out of love for thee, and help us, O Saint of God, to cleanse ourselves from all defilement of flesh and spirit, so that we may labor for the Lord with fear and rejoice in him with trembling. What shall we render unto thee in gratitude for that joy which we have felt, beholding thy sacred relics in the Holy Church and glorifying thy memory? Truly, we have nothing to offer thee except if we begin to correct our lives, becoming new men instead of old. Be an intercessor for us in this, week, in this grace of renewal of holy job. Help us in our weakness, heal our illnesses, help us in our daily and family cares. Calm the dissensions of the churches, cure our passions by thy prayers. O thou who didst depart this temporal life unto life eternal, to which the altar lady, the directress of the Russian diaspora, guided thee by her wonder working, cursed with icon, whose companion thou wast on the day of thy repose. Let us now rejoice in the choir of the saints who glorify the one God, who is worshipped in Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Now and ever and the ages of ages. O beloved Hierarch John, good shepherd and beholder of the hearts and minds of men, thou prayest for us now at the throne of God, even as thou didst say after thy death, even though I have died, yet I am alive. Beseech the most compassionate God that he grant us forgiveness of sins that we may come wakefully to our senses and cry out to God, asking that we be given the spirit of humility, the fear of God, and piety in all the ways of our life. As thou wast a merciful nurturer of orphans and a skilled instructor on earth, be thou now a guide and Christian understanding for us amid the turmoil of the church. Hearken to the groaning of the troubled youth of our corrupt times, who are tempest tossed with the most wicked demonic possession, and mercifully regard the despondency of our weak pastors, caused by the inroads of the corrupting spirit of this world and the languish and idle indifference. Hasten now to make supplication and cry to thee with tears, O fervent advocate. Visit us who are orphans scattered over the face of all the world, and in our homeland astray in the darkness of the passions. Aided by our feeble love, are drawn to the light of Christ, and await thy fatherly instruction. That having acquired piety, we may be shown to be heirs of the kingdom of heaven. For thou abidest with all the saints, glorifying our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be honor and dominion now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. 
Christ is crucified, it's just Christ in the Holy Ghost. 